Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Crew, and welcome to Stay. Stay is a thriller adventure game where someone trapped in a room contacts you through the internet in the hopes that you can help them find a way out. A bit like Saw, but with the internet and computers. So, you might have noticed a timer in the opening menu. The gimmick of the game it advertises, and I'm not sure how accurate it'll stay, pun intended, is that when you turn off the game, that clock is still running, but at a slowed rate. So you theoretically cannot leave this game forever, or the main character guy will die. As you can see here, it's described. And it actually had a list of endings, like there's apparently like seven of them, so... Let's see what outcomes we can get here. Chapter 1 Thalamus Boy, you have bad computer posture. Hello? Anybody there? Can I type it now? Help, please. Hello? I'm here. Is the clock is still running. Some kind of vitals over here? Bonding? Mood afraid? Call Rick. Can't believe this piece of crap is working. Crap, wh wh whoever this is. Please just tell me what's going on. What the hell's happening? Uh, who are you or where are you? Who are you? You must calm down and tell me who you are. I could ask you the same thing. I'm no one. There's been some misunderstanding. Some... Well, <laughs> consider tight. I'm not supposed to be here. That's what everyone says in the Saw movies. I'm just a regular guy whose life went to hell and... And... And what? What were you going to say? And it's none of your business. Oh, okay, person trapped in a room. You want my help? Come on now. There's something that Lucy tell us told a stranger. He's probably responsible for our present situation. What do you want from me? From I don't know you. Or nothing to do with it. Seriously, for the last time, whatever's happened to you. I have nothing to do with it. Trust level low. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for bursting like that. I believe you. Just let me think for a minute. Oh man, I'm so confused. One moment I'm in my bed, trying to get some sleep, and the next, bam! Someone bashes me in the head. Boy, you must have a terrible headache. And I wake up in a strange pitch black place. 
with nothing but a computer with an open chat room with a stranger. Oh yes, the dangers of AOL. Who knows as little as I do. What a freaking nightmare. I just want to pinch myself and wake up. I see you're pinching yourself. Please don't do anything weird in that camera, I'm seeing absolutely everything. Fucking hell, this is happening for real. So let's see that one down. 911. Do you want me to send you help? Call 911. It would be helpful if I knew where I was. Mood lost. But I haven't got the slightest clue of my whereabouts. I have to wake up in room 101. I just lost track of time and everything else in between. No cell phone, no shoes, no nothing. So, that's all I was able to check for now. I know it's a strange setting. But it's real. Unless the twist is it isn't. And I really need your help. Search the walls, maybe? Or search the place? Now I'm meant to waste then. Search the place. My eyes are still adjusting to the dark. I feel dizzy, my head hurts like it's beating along with my pulse. Give me just a few moments. While I do a little survey expedition. No problem. I'll just be waiting here. Just waiting. Are you okay over there? What'd you find? Anything useful? Do you find anything useful? Depends on what you consider useful. There's an old heater of antique vibes, but it's out of order. Thank goodness for that, because it's unbearably hot in here as it is. Did some inspection of the walls within my reach. So you searched the walls either way. I felt the paint peeling off of one. Uh, and some kind of textured wallpaper on another. And I didn't stumble on anything. Is this useful? Maybe one of the walls is hiding something? Maybe another entrance? Don't you squint at me. Something happening? What the? What the hell is happening? What is happening? Saw something? But tell me, I guess you just saw something out of place. I just feel like I'm in some shitty horror movie. You are. But it's not a movie, it's a video game. There's some kind of flashing light on the far wall. I just burst out of nowhere. Let me take a look at it and I'll be right back. So what am I doing here? Do I just wait? Oh look! Line it up. Okay. Like a solid line or something. There. What did that do?
and we really are in an escape room. Um, I think you have a fairy following you. Listen! Oh no. Chapter 1, User Statistics. Uh, most people said 911. Are so down to earth that they would alert the authorities straight away. Pragmatics. Chapter 2. Okay, so chapters are pretty short. First level still low. I'm glad you're here again. I just came back from checking those funky lights. And for a few moments, I'm a with a fluorescent bulb. I'm pleased to announce that we conquered darkness. And with light came a solitary fire find some useful discoveries. Item. Firefly. Our paths are made lighter if we allow beauty and grace to fill our lives. Passion, guidance, sublimination, freedom. Like a locked wooden door. Looks fragile and burnt on the sides. And I'm still wondering if it's locked to keep me inside. Or keep someone out. Look through the keyhole? Well, I would advise you to try looking for something on the other side of the door. Through the keyhole. People who peek through keyholes. Get your eyes poked out. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that can be happen? Booby trapped and you lose an eye? That's what I used to say to those who indulge in voyeurism. We had to mention it to you. But I'm a therapist, new atheist, and consumer of heavy duty painkillers. Well, thank you for telling me all these things that will not benefit me whatsoever. The complete package, you know what I mean. The occupational part is a pigeonhole right now due to some problems. But all the habits die hard, so don't listen to any bullshit from me. But nonetheless, I'll take your advice. If it's useful, of course. By the way, don't lose your eye. I'm serious about that. Okay, you didn't lose your eye. I think my mind is playing tricks on me already. The overall conclusion is that I can't see shit what's on the other side of the door. What do I do now? Kick the door down! Don't give up so easily. You have to kick it down. There's no other way. But forget the door. We're not pushing our luck. Let's try that. We still have to really investigate this room more. I'm finally feeling that we're starting to get along. Because I definitely agree with you on that call. Watch it be like you just had to kick down the door and now it's the exit. It's locked for a reason. Let's obey the rules, at least at the beginning. What well, appears to be a sickening game. Conceived by a disordered mind. Tell me about your patience. It would be helpful if you told me a bit about your patience. We might figure something out together. This really is Saw, ain't it? Ooh! A little branching path. Trust level medium. You had strictly confidential. I might have been allowed to shrink, but I did not on the code. You 
Besides, my patients, wherever they are, could be listening. And they wouldn't be happy seeing their problems exposed to strangers. But I commit one thing. It's not hard for me to imagine one or two of them doing something like this. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And I deserve that hate. But I can't accuse anyone yet. We've got to keep searching for answers. Why did you leave them? I need some questions here. I gotta find my lore. What was that? You seem to be a truly nice person and I truly value your help. I mean, that was a bad one. More than you can imagine. You're still basically a total stranger. Give me some time, maybe I'll soon be able to explain. You can trust me, person. Tell me your darkest secrets. No, that's good. Thank you. Of course. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Let's keep searching. The room. Thank you for understanding and respecting my feelings. You're absolutely right. We have to keep going and find me a way out of here. What about that wallpaper? It could be hunting something since it makes no sense, having just one wall covered. Unless someone didn't have enough time to paper or finish the job. You told me how that goes. Ah, so there was a door behind there. Well, I peel it off, and guess what? Good advice. I found a door, no joints or cracks, camouflaged like it was deliberately hidden. And it's unlocked. It looks like we're edging into uncharted territories. If I'm not back in an hour, say a prayer for me. I'll pray on my anime DVDs. For some kind words in honor of our significant if short companionship. Hopefully you do not just walk into a bomb trap. The thing in the other door could be a bomb trap too. Take the firefly with you. Oh, it's a bathroom. The voyeurs. 84% of users, including you, think that playing Peepa Tom could work as an advantage in life. Okay. <laughs> was that the major choice of this chapter? Or was it just one of the more interesting questions? Chapter 3, Opus Primus. Oh no. It's you. The most horrifying thing of all. I would take an empty ball too. Maybe that's a key. That door that was supposed to be my virtual off-ramp to freedom. And so let me straight into... A tiny bathroom boasting a nasty toilet and sink. Clogged toilet, all life proceeds off corruption from Prima Materia. So you can clearly at the experiment of your life, you transform into gold. Hmm. The toilet's caught up with God knows what, and the faucet spits brown water. There could be a key or something in there, though. 
Your challenge is to stick your hand in the doggy doo doo to get the key. I know it's disgusting, so you won't do it. It smells like a mixture of rancid cooked cauliflower and wet dog. Like upchuck with chunks of raw eggs or a dank skunk baby born in a dumpster. I think it's the putrid picture I'm painting. But at least it has a cracked mirror, which is incredibly useful. I was worried about how I looked. Baggy eyes, bad hair day. I'm a total mess. Nothing else? What about the pills? I have all those. No, nothing else worth mentioning. Unless you want the details of how clogged the toilet was, specific amount of water, or wider range of alternate descriptions. Whatever I can find me in here obviously didn't spare me a second thing about my first necessities. So when nature calls, I will piss wherever I damn well please and use it as a way of marking my territory. Why are you hiding about the pills? And pissing off the landlord, so to speak. And what's your name? I'm sorry for my rudeness, but it occurred me to ask what you were your name till now. Oops, this kind of feels like the end of a one-night stand. Trust level high. My name's Quinn, and yours? Manly. Senpai. Hi, Manly Senpai. Hi, how you doing? I'm a pretty cool dude, and you should check out my YouTube channel. You got the internet there? Start watching. Keep off that ad block. You might be trapped forever, but hey, at least you can watch my stuff. Nice to call you by your name. <laughs> I feel closer to you now, and less lonely. I keep having these thoughts. Maybe the reason I'm stuck in here is to finish something I left undone. My work, the therapy sessions of my patients. When Epson said that the strongest men are the most alone, you sure wasn't talking about my patience. What was that noise? Hey, you okay? Wait, I hear something. No, no. It sounds like little bells. Even from the corner of the room. Be safe, Quinn. Let me check it out. I'll return shortly after the commercial break. Hopefully. Uh-oh. The late icebreakers. 84% of users including you did pay attention to the credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Maybe we should have said we need more clues. Right now I'm being pretty predictable with my choices. This is mysterious. So here's the updated news. There was a small incident in the room, and a shelf of some porcelain came down. A little weird that happened on its own. It's when I thought I had enough on my plate. The place has had to multiply and break in pieces. Don't you pun me. Only I do that. There's three of them, each one more shared than the other. It was its own symbol, it seems. What am I supposed to do with this useless crockery? Throw it all away and start pottery lessons in my line of hipsterish porcelain? You're kind of annoying, Quinn. I mean, I'll just leave you there. But you don't even watch my YouTube videos anyway. Or he built this crap and see for some hint. Is it worth it? Do you think it's worth the trouble and time? When you're trapped in a new room and you feel like your that your life is in danger. Everything you find in it is worth the trouble and time. People who overthink their decisions. 
have more brain cells in their frontal lobes. As you must have noticed by now, I have no brain cells at all. So look at this little line going on right here. The simple question is, which place should I waste my time on? The virtues in the middle. They're neither the easy nor hard one, virtues taking the middle path. Let's see, let's try that one. Not too easy, not too hard. A moderate dude. Maybe it's the easy one. Because you would like would think it'd not be the easy one. You waste your time on the hard one. Unless it really was just a hard one. Who knows? You are there. There. Sazam. We're good. We've unlocked a cat. I knew it was the cats who did this. I'll be damned. Man of a broken plate, there's a naughty cat in action. Life and death, whatever comes next. The maiden, the mother, and the crone. Hmm. What are these items even for now? I have a companion now. Who seems as upset about being trapped in here as I am. No need to be jealous, manly senpai. I'm pretty jealous about that cat. Not for you, that cat though. You're still my favorite and I still need to get your- Get the cat! Get the cat off the screen! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck- it's cat language right there. It says, give me a burger from Wendy's and a chili. Sorry, it's him telling us he's from a lost village in Iceland. Interesting thing about cats. Do you know that they lower your stress level and anxiety? Okay. Over a 10 year period, cat owners are 3% less likely to die of a heart attack or stroke. Which means my kidnapper probably cares about me. Where did it come from? That's weird, but promising. It could show you the way out. Where did it come from? Good question. I don't have the slightest idea. Got all infatuated by that I abandoned the rational me. Thank goodness I have you here to keep me calm. I checked all the possible exits. There's only the door and the WC, and there's no way in or out of that. Cat Oscar looks like Oscar the fairy pet cat, not quite people friendly. If you ever see him around, you're in trouble. He likes to make the final appearance. What? Wait, besides the name tag, there's something else on his collar. What is it? Oh god. JC, a bomb. So we got a device. A clock. With a goddamn countdown. Did we pick the wrong cat? Each one of those plates gives you a different cat. Various degrees of difficulty cats. The cat's a bomb? Holy crap, is that cat rigged to explode? You're deep shit, how long do you have left? 
Let me just sign off and leave you here to go watch some anime. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. A new episode's out. I'll get back to you. Quiz this clock. I have approximately 13 hours until something happens. This place blows up. I blow up the computer. Nothing. So it must be 13 hours real time or 13 hours offline time. I think it's just a warning about time I have left to try and get off this place or else I'll probably die here. Hey, what's this one say? You have me and Oscar. A new furry friend. Everything will turn out okay. Thanks for those words of comfort. Trust level very high. Emotional bonding is just stranger though. So left is emotional bonding, right is trust. I have these conflicted fleeing feelings. Sometimes I think that going through hard situations all alone means less suffering. No collateral damages. But then I became aware that if we were alone, the situation would be unbearable. Regarding Oscar here, this tabby looks unusual. Can't explain why, but it's almost like he senses my pain and despair. And he feeds off of it. Whenever I look at him, it feels therapeutic. Maybe you're the one who needs therapy right now, that's why you're here. Makes me feel some relief, which means I'm going bananas here. Need a few moments to figure out what to do next. BRB. Are you gonna pop some of those pills? They're tempting you with the pills, knowing like you're maybe you're an addict or something. 60% of users, including you, are lifelong followers of Aristotle's golden mean. So many people chose the easy ones, meaning that was the right one. Interlude, leave at your own risk. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? What's going on, man? What are you doing? Why are you looking at the ground? Just killing time? Now you're digging? I'm afraid if I leave, I'll miss something. Yeah, that, that, that's not happening. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on, get on up. Chin up. Don't take the pills. Huh, the water doesn't work, huh? See, so, yeah, where did you come from, Cad? Doesn't look like there's any place you could have hidden. Banging the computer doesn't do anything. Actum Tempest. Sorry for disappearing so abruptly. Digging to the past can be taxing work. It's something I ask so often for my patients. But even for me, it feels like climbing Everest without oxygen. Which would be impossible. When in past camp, I... Never been the athletic type. Oh, I don't worry, I could tell. 
What's in your mind? That's good. You'll probably never see that can help you. What's in your mind? Does that go up or down? I was way back, thinking about how I treated my patients. Like numbers with stereotyped ideas, giving cookie cutter treatments. Or well, reflecting that behind all those troubled minds were real worthwhile individuals who had come to me in dire need of help. But I sat there, fitting a sympathetic ear with all my diplomas and certificates behind me, shouting how good I was. Now I realize they were in fact proof of what an ignorant fraud I was. A veiled charlatan. I deserve the rod in here. What worries you? If that's obvious, there's something else that worries you. What worries you masters you? I should follow more often the wor words of wisdom of John Locke. The philosopher, not the bulk of the island of the black smoke. Oh, you mean that famous show? Found. The only thing that worries me is my current situation and getting out of this place, starring Johnny Depp. Never mind, I ran every time I lose the plot, but thank you for asking. Great, the cat just brought me something. A rat. Check the rat for a key. Everything has a key. That toilet has a key. The rat has a key. Dead rat, what's eating you inside? Also, that cat's showing you the real hunter in the house. It's about that place is escape room attraction, and you will kind of loan every inch of that room. You're reading one of those. It might take a leaf out of your book. Just level is highest right now. Let's start with the fridge of this minimalist room. What can you find on our table? Illegal authors? Green boogers and ancient bubble gums? Someone hiding? I mean, we all remember the twist of Saw. Ugh, that should give me chills from the cold bare feet to the top of my head. The person's the cat. I'm afraid to look. Ugh. Give me a moment to get some guts to do some inspection. Would you find some gum? Safe for Corpus City users, including you. Love a really good, immersive experience. Good for us and for Quinn, of course. Actum Scriptum, Chapter 6. And you're not gonna believe it. No fossilized boogers or chewing gums. Damn. You could have ate one of those, at least for nourishment. Just a key tucked on the side of the table. I told you, there's keys everywhere. Check that rat. That's gonna be key. You're missing a carpet or a vase to hide keys, but why not use the bottom of the table? Does it make sense? Doesn't make any sense to hide the key but to put it in the same room as you. The man sense here makes no sense at all. But for once, something in the senseless place plays in our favor. I guess it was there waiting for me all along. Maybe, maybe I have it all within the reach to get out. I just have to find it. I'm assuming you do. I mean, it's like an escape room, right? As we said earlier. We put some effort out. Stop typing people on the internet. Anytime they be social, start searching. And then we wouldn't have a video game. And reach my final destination. Oh no, let's not get into that movie. But still better to burn out than to fade away.
Maybe the key actually will work. It would just lead to a different room. Yeah. It's like a whole house in here, a bunker. It has a very loyal firefly. A puzzle. Okay. So over here. Like there. Yeah. Like there. Yeah. Over here, there. Yeah. And down here. Put you over here. You over here. You over here. 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 Put you yeah with there. Nah. Put that there. You go here. You go there. Well, all the symbols should be right now. Is there anyone left who's out of place? So maybe now it's color? There's also bands. Hold up. Yes. Okay. Good. Like so. Done on that side. Okay, good. Where did you go, little buddy? There. It's almost like an infinity symbol. Okay. done and then like so done what do we get so I went to a very elaborate series of puzzles here a lot of wasted money. Or maybe non-wasted, depending if you think of it, it's kick-ass. I made my own escape route, honey. What do you have to do with it? Oh, trap people I dislike. Hello, mate, I'm alive. For now. There's never weird room. It appears to be an office with vintage vibes. Some heavy decoration, an upholstered armchair, a fireplace, and a library. And some funky statues. Yeah, I noticed those. Agent Devkos, a violent fate who was known to be the Greeks in the Homeric Times and earlier. Daughters of Nick's sisters are fave, doomed, death, and sleep. Huh. Some stuff covered in blankets. It feels like I'm in the creation of Edgar Allan Poe. I kept waiting, I keep waiting for an ominous bird to speak to me. Ugh. Let's see. You have to search every room to room. Have you found something new? Is that for pants branching or trust? What I found this is a book. A secret book with a finny symbol in its cover, equilibrium and the balance of surrounding forces. It doesn't end, it doesn't begin, it simply exists. If you item has like a weird message behind it. It looks sacred, but at first glance. It doesn't look like it's related to the particular religion. Not even something to satanic. Even so, I'm afraid to open it.
Go ahead. What harm can a book do? Open it. I wouldn't be so sure. You never saw the name of Rose? No, I haven't. Or the cook, the thief, his wife, and the lover, and the dog? Books can be wielded as seriously potent weapons. Figuratively and literally speaking. I don't know. Do you think it's safe? I'm sure it's perfectly safe, Quinn. Go for it. It may just be a book. But what if it's meant to be my final chapter? You watch two moon movies. It's just a book, Quinn. No way it's a bomb. I think that was a downward. I'm not so sure about that. Every sign of this place is a stored reflection of what it seems. Just open the book. Just do it. It's not my life on the line, it's yours. Live big. Things aren't just things. They can be your way out or your death sentence. But my choice are limited to opening the book or leaving it alone. I'm getting used to taking risks, so you know what my choice is. A gun. Literally speaking, the book was hiding a weapon. A real one. I mean, that's a attempt you to kill yourself. Because you got the pills, too. An object looks like a communication device. Enjoy your new phone. It's like a radio. For which I'm speaking to you now. Is it working? Can you read me? Yes. So now we can go portably, see? No more computer every time I want to talk to you. You should realize that that weight didn't come from the words contained inside. No, that's for later. Other words can be very heavy sometimes. So what am I supposed to do with this? Explore so I can help you? Shoot the sinister bird that will eventually come to perch over the door? Kill the cat and eat it? I'm kidding. I'm not that hungry yet. Shoot myself and end it right here? Maybe it's that. Gotta think for a minute. Maybe if your mental state is so bad, you'll let you do it. The Blasphemer. Who says, it's just a book, had a very boring childhood. We're not judging, we're not self-righteous. It's just a fact. Interlude, leave on your own risk. Goodbye.